Hi folks, welcome to our video tutorial on working with the parallax slider. In this video I'm going to cover three topics, changing the heading text, changing the paragraph text, and changing or removing the button link. So let's go and take a look at the parallax slider just so I can explain what these things are. Right, so here's an example of the parallax slider. In the parallax slider we have some heading text, paragraph, a button, and an image. And of course the buttons that move things back and forth. We're going to concentrate on changing just the heading, the text, and the join us button or the read more button down here. Let's jump right into Dreamweaver, shall we? Let's expand the library folder, the sliders folder, and the parallax slider. Open up the parallax slider.lbi page. Now once you get in here and put it into the design mode, you'll see that it's basically just like editing a regular HTML page from this point forward you'll see that the um, sliders is not styled. So all you have to do is understand that uh, for whatever number of slides you have, they're displayed in sequence from top to bottom, which would be first to last. So to change the heading, just simply select the heading text and type in a new heading. Now the reason I actually have a video on this is because when you're typing in a new heading, it's important that for whatever reason, if this text somehow becomes dislodged from the formatting, and looks something like that, just like regular text, just select it again, go down to the format menu, and reapply the heading to tag. Oops, as I scroll through the list there. All right, everything, all the headings are heading twos, all the text is wrapped in a paragraph tag, and of course all the little blue bits of text down here, that's just regular text that is linked to a web page, but we've actually wrapped it in some additional styling that helps it create a button. So. Heading text, that's your paragraph text. You would just edit that like regular paragraph text and you can actually use the bold and the italics if you want to. And then the text here that you see in blue, that's actually the button text. So you would change this to new button and if you want to link that to a different page, which you'll probably need to, just select it with your mouse. Go down to the properties panel. If you don't have the properties panel open, as in it's not available, go to the window properties panel, there it is. Right With the text selected, then you can go find the page you want to link to, um, use the point to file tool, drag it over and drop it on that page and you're done. So the image, we'll talk about that in the next video, but you can continue on just changing the headers, the text and the button text or the link, uh, just using that process.